How can you measure a ship's distance from the shore? As in the case of the Great Pyramid's height, the Greek philosopher and mathematician Thales found a way to do it. Researchers think that Thales used one of two methods, which are based on the geometry of similar triangles. In the first, the position of the ship is marked on the shore, and two similar triangles are created using these marks. After the points 1, 2 and 3 are marked on the beach, the ship is viewed from point 3. This determines the position of point 4. Next, two similar triangles are drawn. The distances AB, BC and DC can be measured because they are on the beach. Since we know these distances, the length of ED, in other words the distance of the ship from the shore, can be worked out from a simple calculation. Some historians believe that Thales may have used a tower to do the measurement. In this method, a person climbs a high tower and extends a long stick from the tower so that he sees the ship directly in front of the stick. The distance of the ship from the shore is calculated by using the similarity ratios between the triangles that are formed. With the similarity ratios for the triangles, we can easily calculate the distance of the ship from the shore. It's not known which of these methods Thales used, but he would have been able to calculate the distances of ships from the shore, or the distances, for example, of other cities that were visible in the distance, using either approach involving triangle similarities.